Okay, welcome back to another episode of Dakota Planet Student Spotlight. Episode 32. And your name is? My name's Alex Bash. And what grade are you in? I'm currently a senior at Dakota High School. How's, uh, how's that been going so far for you? Uh, it's been going good. You know, I'm getting ready to move on. I got accepted into Michigan State already, so yeah. I'm pretty ready to just kind of start that next step. But it's it's nice that it's kind of slowing down and we're getting to that kind of posting period. What do you, uh, what do you plan to study over at Michigan? I'm um, actually, it's Michigan State, but oh, yeah, uh, I, it's political science. I am actually got accepted into their residential college for political science, so... I'm going to be specializing in like one of the four majors that they have there. I think it's international relations, constitutional law, and then there's like public policy and another one I can't remember the name of. Okay. So what's your like favorite area of political studies? Uh, probably international relations. I would really love to like be a senator or something for the U.S., but at this point that's like... I don't know, you know, it's just like those crazy yeah. dreams that you have. It's kind of far off. Yeah. It's something you really have to work towards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you have any, like, sort of sports or clubs that you like at Dakota? Yeah, I, I'm i really into uh, Model UN, as I've said, with political science. I'm really into that kind of politics niche group. Uh, one of the things I really like about that is just kind of, like, debating with people, but also, like, kind of just getting to know people within like your committee so it's like having those intellectual talks but then also like aside from that just being a person you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. and uh a lot of the things i also really like to do is obviously the dakota planet and then um i don't know do you have like any sort of like hobbies that you're into currently oh uh, yeah i've been getting a lot into writing uh mm -hmm. i I have a Bandcamp page, actually, which is kind of like Spotify, except I don't have to go through all the legal loopholes to make an account. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I have a Bandcamp, if you want to listen to anything on there. It's called Mount Vernon. Uh, and then I really am into, like, writing right now. I've just kind of been writing, like, ideas that I have down. You know, poetry, short stories, anything, really. I never finished anything, but you know how that goes. So the so the band camp is that like, is that music you make or is that like a podcast yeah. or no that's that's music. Okay, all right. I, it's not very good, but you know it's at least something. Yeah. So, you said you write. What is your favorite thing that you've written so far? Um, favorite thing I've written like recently is probably, uh, my piece for the Coil Planet Cigarettes in the Snow, that was really. I, that was just kind of a moment of inspiration. Uh, I was working at McDonald's, and I was catching people out through the drive through And it was the first time it snowed that year. And so it was like, I just, it was surreal. I kind of watched fall turn into winter throughout the night because we got two inches of snow. So it was like everything was covered. It was just kind of surreal. It was, but it really inspired me. What uh, What is that story about, like in particular? Um, It's kind of like, prose uh but it's written very poetically i don't really know how to describe it but it's kind of just a feeling it's about like this man who every day after work he works at this job he hates right and every day after work he goes to the gas station across the street and he smokes cigarettes with the owner of the gas station and it's just kind of like a slice of life narrative i guess there's really not a, it's really short, but it's, I really like it. Okay. So, um, damn, I can't think of anything. All right, well, <laughs> on that note, uh, what's, what's one of your favorite memories from school so far? Like, just something that you can remember that's really, like, fun to you? One of my favorite memories, uh, this is a while ago, and this isn't really, you know, at school. It's like in the high school time frame, but it's not at school. Uh, one time, our editor in chief, John, and then Anish and I, we, we were bored, and we were at his dad's house, and so we decided that we were going to walk like three miles to a McDonald's, just for McDonald's. 
for no other reason than we wanted McDonald's. And it was such a hot day that by the time we got there, we were all like exhausted from the heat. And it was really like just terrible, but it was a, it was great. It was probably one of my favorite memories. Um, why would you guys do that to yourselves, first of all? And then, <laughs> I mean, that's just three miles for McDonald's. Yeah. That's impressive. I don't know. I feel like I'm not dedicated enough for that. I feel like I would have just went to went to CVS and bought like a bag of chips and a. Here's the thing: we were like freshmen going into sophomore year, mm -hmm. so it was like, you know, it's like just like dumb stuff you can do yeah. when you don't have a car, because it's like you don't have an excuse to be like, oh, let's just drive there. You know what I mean? So it's just like dumb stuff, you do. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely made some long, needless bike trips before. Everyone's, <laughs> yeah. everyone's made dumb decisions in general. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't consider it a dumb decision. I wouldn't call decision. it a dumb decision, but, like, yeah. No, it I get would, what you're saying. It's, like... It was just, like... It's just an, an intense amount of walking. I feel it like was I would, an intense amount of walking. And it was so hot, too, still, is the thing, yeah. too. It was, like, so hot. It was It was ridiculous. See, I would walk, like, three miles in the winter before I would walk, like, three miles no, in the I, summer. No, I hate the winter. I can't do that. Oh, really? I hate... Well, okay, I like winter, but it's, like, I'm so much more of, like, a heat person than I am a cold person. Ooh, I can't do heat. Because, like, I I can do heat. Like, I can be out in 100-degree weather and be fine, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be a little hot, sure, but if I have some water, I'll be fine. You know what I mean? No, I'll literally drop dead. But like, it's, like... It's not even... Like, going out in, like, cold, I can't do it. I... Like, walking from my car to the doors every day is literally terrible. It, it, makes me, it makes me want to, like, not come to school. It's cold, but I feel like as long as I keep my hands in my pockets and my head up, I'm chilling. Exactly. See, the thing is, exactly. I'm also carrying a stainless steel coffee cup. So that's, like, yeah, no, conducting I, the cold. Yeah, I am, yeah. too, whenever I walk in. And then it, like, takes, like, five minutes for my hands to readjust to actually having to, like, function and do stuff. See, and it's just, like, it wouldn't be so bad if, like, the cold wasn't just, like, painful, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I hate the cold, because, like, with the heat, it was... it's uncomfortable, but it's not like it hurts, you know? The cold hurts. Yeah, it was literally 9 degrees yesterday. Anyways, anyways, we're way over the time limit, uh, but uh, just to wrap it up, like, what's a, what's something you learned from your experience, just, like, something you would give, just a solid piece of advice, just a message to kind of close it off to anybody who's watching, or... Uh... Do what makes you happy. If you don't do what makes you happy, you're going to be miserable. Mm -hmm. And there's no point in being miserable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great advice. I agree yeah. with that. Like, you, um, you, can't, you can't just go through life just going through the motions. You're, you're not going to really be doing anything. Well, especially if you're stuck in, like, a, like something you don't want to do. Yeah, exactly. It, I don't know. It, it, I, I think if you're not doing something you don't enjoy, you don't have the drive to continue forward in it. Exactly. Yeah, I was just I was just about to say that. You can't, you're not going to be able to get anything done and be productive as you want to be if you're not following one of your passions. Like, if you're not passionate about your work, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. You know, you need to. I mean, like work, is, work is work, too. So if you're doing something you're not passionate about, you're wasting your energy on something you don't care about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well. Bye. Anyways, yeah. Have a good one. Thank you for the interview.